guys welcome back to the channel it's lauren thank you so much for watching today we're gonna do a shop my stash okay guys i am just sitting down to edit this video and i realized a few things first off like do not mind the piece of like fuzz oh it's still in there wow okay whatever was in my hair it's in my hair the whole time so i'm really sorry also the audio i was charging my mic and it didn't get all the way plugged back in even though i thought it was so i'm really sorry for the audio and i've contemplated not posting this but i just i hope it's not too bad to post so i'm gonna post it anyway i think but just wanted to put a little disclaimer i didn't want to put little text things in so i thought i'd pop this little video in i hope you enjoy the video still it's kind of a long one but yeah i hope it's still semi-enjoyable <laughs> okay fingers crossed i am excited to go through my collection find some stuff put them in my drawers and get some good use out of it probably for the next i don't even know maybe like week and a half two weeks because i'm really excited about fall and i think i want to do kind of this spooky thing for like september and october just october's not enough you know what i mean like i kind of want to have fall vibes that whole time kind of spooky stuff that whole time so anyway that's kind of just what i'm thinking in my head i don't even know exactly how that will translate to makeup but yeah that's what I've been thinking okay <laughs> anyway so uh to start off before we like actually are shopping my stash because I'm gonna take you through the drawers I know you guys love that and it's been a second I have like <laughs> a lot of new stuff stuff's like nice and organized I feel like at the moment too which is great but I need to put this stuff behind me away I thought I would show you some of the new stuff in my collection this way some of it's PR I'll let you guys know but yeah let's talk about some of that stuff put that away and then we can get to shopping okay and yes I am in a sport it's like all I can wear is sports bras you guys like I can't I can't wear anything else all right starting here I have some stuff from Caudalie they sent over another a beauty elixir which I'm actually almost done with mine I keep it at my desk and I just spray it on refresh myself I love this for waking up it's so good so refreshing kind of minty it's strong but so good and then I have some other skincare like a lot of stuff which I think I actually want to try all of it because I've been into skincare lately oh my gosh you guys do you see this she hulk palette mm -hmm. i got sent it i don't know what video is gonna go up i'm gonna do a video with this because i think i might have been wrong okay <laughs> i mean i still don't like the packaging but look at these shades look at those um but like that's like really good <laughs> still don't love the packaging it also has like this moment going on but um anyway she Hulk palette. I'm definitely gonna put that in my shop my stash, but I'm probably gonna put it away for now. We can like truly shop for it. Like this is just all of them, but they're so like sheer and shimmery, like so many of those. I don't want I mean I'll eat my words if I have to. I don't I'm not too proud, you know, but <laughs> what's going on? Like I have just so many emotions and feelings about that palette. I should just make myself bigger and just show you it, right? Okay, because it's like we're really up close and like even more up close and personal. I finally got my Kaoli things. I have the Love Fest Burning Cherry. I just got the mini and I know that they did like a travel spray size as well, like the tube type thing, but they also do have the small one, at least on the Kaoli website. So I still got the bottle because I like the little bottles. This is pretty good. I'm going to spray some on. I'm kind of nervous. Definitely very cherry, but there's like this creamy kind of base on it that I really like. I think I'm gonna like it, especially if I can get out. Like sometimes if my brain thinks about it too much, I can get a little medicinal like cherry cough syrup, but when I don't think of it that way, I really like the dry down on this actually more than that kind of like cherry opening. Anyway, and then this is the blush. This is the burning cherry blush. Oh yeah, that's really good. I don't like the cherry opening, but everything else, once it kind of dies down, this is a cream blush and it has like a really nice shimmer to it. So that's what it looks like. Like, oh, yes. I hope it will actually look good. I got some of these nail stickers from Ciate London. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I haven't decided if I'm going to pass them on yet or not. I don't have like even nails or long nails. I like to keep them actually pretty short. So I don't know if these are going to work for me. So I don't know. I have lots of new stuff in this basket, but I'll probably just show you that as I'm like shopping. And then I thought I would share with you, I have some Shine by SD stuff. She sent me some of the new palettes. So I think there's three new palettes. So there's this one. This one's called Serenity and it's more like purple and gray. This one's called Treasure and it's all like iridescent multi-chromes. Oh wow, let me, let me find an area. Oh yeah, so glittery. Those are some of the colors in there. And then this one is called Green Ocean. Super green. There's a few swatches. 
<laughs> shitty ass swatches okay so um i have those palettes i also got some singles but i'll deal with those i think a little later and then last i thought i would show you what i got in my fat fit fun i still get fat fit fun i pay for it myself i really like it i love that it's quarterly because it just feels like less stuff you know what i mean than if it were a month like that'd be a little bit too much and i also i pay for it yearly so i get to customize everything in my box which i feel like paying up front and getting that discount of paying the entire year up front is worth it to be able to customize it because then you get the cheapest price for the best bang for your buck in the sense that you get to pick everything and you have the most control over getting your money's worth I guess so I want to share with you these are some free people little bags for in your suitcase you can put whatever you want in them just to kind of keep your packing organized so I picked those I went with almost all beauty I've been doing that like every time now because I like I love the makeup and beauty portion anyway and I really feel like I get the most most money worth out of it when I think of my channel what I'm interested in and although the house stuff and like home care and lifestyle and other things you can get in the box I'm a little more wary because those things can become more junk than good for me if I'm not careful anyway so for beauty these are the things that I got some I guess were add-ons but a lot of them were just options so I got the summer Fridays overtime mask which I'm so excited for because I've been masking so much I picked up this unite seven seconds detangler it's a leave-in conditioner I've actually used up one of these before I remember getting a training on this brand when I used to work at a beauty store and I haven't really heard much about unite since but this is like one of their hero products I think I'll use it for myself but I I have my Byredo and Way one that I love. So we'll see, this might be waiting in the wings. Maybe I'll gift it to someone, I don't know. I got the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. This I haven't had in a while. I know Sam will be excited for it. It's like his favorite moisturizer. I got the Glossier Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. I'm a little scared, but I love a dewy look. So we'll see how that goes. Glossier was definitely one of the brands that was like featured. They always have these as like free add-ons. So I don't know <laughs> if I'll actually use these because I just got rid of some that were expired, but these are the eye drops that kind of keep your eyes wider. I have a bomb.com in the birthday cake. I don't love the packaging on this, but I really want to smell the birthday cake smell. And then I think the last thing, I think, is this Dr. Brandt Hydrating Essence. It's, uh, I think, a spray toner type thing, which I am down with as well. So lots of great skincare options and stuff like that this time around, which I was very happy with. I do love that they have Glow Recipe Summer Fridays and just some of those more like legit and also skincare brands I'm just interested in in the box that kind of makes it worth it for me. But I realize there's more in this box. <laughs> because I also ordered some stuff from like Ulta and stuff like that. I also ordered some Victoria's Secret scrubs because I wanted to check these out. When I bought these, they were like $5 a piece. I just couldn't pass it up. So I got the mango one. I got this honey one and I got a lavender honey one. So these will be added to the scrub testing. I also picked up the two new flavors or scents for fall, which this will definitely be somehow in my like autumn, fall, spooky season thing. But these are from Tree Hut. There's the Velvet Coffee, which to me smells like a coffee churro. Like that's what I get, like a Disneyland churro, but you're also drinking a cup of coffee. Like that's what this smells like. And then pumpkin spice latte. Like how fun are these? I love it. Okay, I love it so much. And I really do like these scrubs overall. They have great scent options. They're super scrubby. I love them for specifically though, your underarms. Like I don't know if you aren't scrubbing your underarms, but I just think you should. Just scrub under your underarms a little bit. It gets all that deodorant off. It's refreshing. I don't know. I know that's weird, but but yeah, I really love it for that because it's like hardcore. Anyway, I have those scrubs. And then last few things that were in there. This is another sugar scrub. I picked this up because Ulta was doing 10 times the points and it was on Drunk Elephant. I was like, you know what? This is actually not that expensive. Caveat for Drunk Elephant, okay? <laughs> like it was $28, but I'm telling you there are scrubs out there like for 40 and I feel like Drunk Elephant prices, I expect 40. I was shocked that it was only 28 and I got 280 points for freaking buying this. And I thought, okay, let's Let's try it. This smells horrible to me. Ugh, ugh, ugh. It's the almond milk scrub. Ugh, I hate it. I really hate it. I think other people like it. I, I don't. Ugh. Oh my god, I almost gagged. I did gag. I almost threw up. <laughs> Do not buy, okay? <laughs> don't buy this. If you like this, why not share with you the last couple things? I got some little clips. I got two of this e.l.f. concealer. I'm not sure how those are gonna work for me. And keeping on with, you know, this spooky thing. Oh 
oh my gosh, it just fell off. But keeping in line with the spooky stuff, I got these nails, okay guys? I'm not a press on nail girl, but everyone else is. And I feel like they've come a long way. I think I just have bad memories of just like the press on nails are just like, they look bad, they're cheap, they fall off. But like everyone's wearing press ons if they're not actually getting their nails done. And they look so good. And I'm like, maybe I should become someone who has nice nails or something, maybe. So I got two spooky ones. These ones from Kiss have little ghosts on them. Oh my gosh, I think they're Kiss Impress, I don't know. But they're shorter, probably more my style. But then these ones just looked like kind of the badass bitch girly vampire queen princess that I wanna be, you know what I mean? So anyway, I picked those up too. And now I'm gonna put all this shit away so that we could actually shop my stash. I know I kinda like put this shit in there, but I thought, why else are we here on this makeup channel? than to talk about beauty products. <laughs> Let's put the shit away, okay. on bomb.com oh my gosh it smells so good oh it's sweet mm, I'm just so into like cakey vanilla scents I can't I can't handle it All right, so we're all cleaned up. I really don't have a, like these are so, they're thick boys, okay. So they don't really fit in my drawers right now. I don't know where to put them. I do wish they were just smaller, you know? Like I feel like the single shadows are what Shine by is known for. And I love the idea of palettes, but I don't know if I love this for only six. It's just pretty thick. So those are just gonna sit on top for now, but I'm gonna go get my drawers so I can actually start shopping my stash. <laughs> Finally, we will get there. All right, so starting off, this is my face Drawer. This hasn't changed too much, I think, since the last time you saw it. I don't know. I did the whole rearranging. I had this like whole moment of like, yeah, I need to probably at some point to clutter, but we'll see when that actually happens. I'm trying not to do it too often because I really want to give things a chance. But let's pick out primers. First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer. I love this. I'm gonna give the Glossier Dew also a chance because I want to try it out as a primer. It might be too glowy for me, so it might become more skincare, but we'll see. I want to try it. I'm also definitely gonna be giving a lot of Charlotte Tilbury a chance and just like using a lot of it because I bought some stuff from the sale, which a lot of that will be in this Shop My Stash. So I'm gonna put the flawless filter in here and I think the last one I'm gonna put in I mean these are like the usual suspects I guess um, but I'm gonna put the steel one step because I want to use this up I like it it's not like using it up because I never want to use it again or because I hate it but it would be nice to get it gone you know it's coming up I think on a year or so that I've had that which I think is pretty good <laughs> run through but um, I'm gonna put that in for powders I've really just been sticking to my Kosas so I'm gonna put that in there this is what mine looks like right now so I'm wearing down that dome for sure. Foundations, of course my Yen said this one's on its last legs. I'm almost done with it. I'm gonna put that in. I've actually got a little bit of sun recently, so I'm also gonna put in the Pure Lease. This is another one I'm just trying to use up. I do like the color on me, especially now that I'm a little darker. And then I think this one from Urban Decay, the Stay Hydrated or Hydromaniac one. I'm going to put that in because I need to really get some thoughts on it. It's been a while, I feel like, since I've really used it many times in a row, and that's what I want to do with it. For concealers, I definitely want my NYX one. This is the Bear With Me, and I have it in the shade Light. I really, really love this. I'm also going to put the e.l.f. ones in there just to see if I like them. I got the camo ones. I am not sure about these colors. I don't know. I'll show them against the NYX one. Maybe I'm wrong, but I didn't even realize like these are two different colors. They look so similar to me. So you can see how neutral the NYX one is compared to the e.l.f. ones. They just have a very peachy, warm undertone. Like they're not yellow. They're peachy. I don't know how 
that's gonna work for me, but we'll see. It's confirming to me that that might not work, but I definitely wanna give them a shot. Uh, why not throw the Sigma in there? You know, you know how I love this Sigma corrector. Let's put it in. All right, so this next drawer is definitely changed around. It's become kind of eye stuff, extraneous stuff, along with like basics. So um, I'm probably not gonna pick any of this stuff. This is like water activated liner. This is the water activated liner palette from uh, Kylove. So I, I don't know if I'm gonna do any of that. So I'm gonna keep that there. This is kind of just like fun stuff, like jewels and glue and just that type of crap. I've been using the Stila mascara, so I'm gonna put that in. I probably should declutter some of my mascaras soon because a lot of them are getting old. I'm also gonna put the Rare Beauty one in, keep trying that out. Brows are pretty simple. I'm using the Tarte one. Uh, I feel like this Persona one's basically out. My Rowan pencil, and that's really, I mean, I'll put the, I'll put the persona and just make sure it's gone, but just those three are kind of my staples right now. And then I'm just gonna put the Urban Decay Primer Potion just for any time I'm not gonna be using a cream shadow base. I mostly do that, but there's a few times where I just want a normal primer, so I don't wanna have to come into my drawers for that, so I'm gonna put that in too. Now here we are for bronzers. I know for sure the new one from Charlotte Tilbury. I got this again during the sale. I feel like they're always sold out of these, so they had like some type of package deal that I got three of them, so I picked out this. This is the Fair Light one. I have used it once, it's okay. It's definitely different. Let me do them here. I'm, this is gonna be a very long video. I have this one, which is the cream kind of in the tube, and then this one, there, this one's so red and it's so, it's like so very liquidy. So that's the like liquidy one and then that's the cream one and they're very different. You can see how red this is, how like green this is almost. So that, that's kind of interesting, but I'm definitely putting that in. I'm gonna put the cream one in as well. I feel like I've been sticking to just creams when I'm doing bronzer. I don't even use my powder bronzers like at all anymore or at least lately. Maybe once it comes to winter, I don't know, but I think I'm just gonna keep it to that, like I really do. Okay, but you guys, look at this blush drawer. Oh, I just have so many good things. So definitely picking the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pillow Talk. I have the medium one and the regular one. I got the medium as a blush, so that's what it looks like. And then this one I've had for a long time. It's more like a blush lighter on me but I'm gonna put those both in there. I have to put Persona Teddy. I just, I love this one. You guys already know that. Look how pretty it would be with the pillow talk. Like, oh, I love that. Some new ones that I picked up with the Ulta sale. This is the Milani one. I have the shade Nude Kiss. I'm definitely gonna put that in. I've worn it a few times, I really like it. I have this Stila one in the shade Peony. What a classic product, right? Full circle moment, <laughs> coming back around. So that's peony. I'm putting tons of blushes, so just prepare. I'm definitely putting the Love Fest one, the Burning Cherry that I already swatched a little. But do you see how it says love? And then it says, I don't know what it says. The share? What the hell does it say? I don't know, it says two things. Does that say the share, but like upside down backwards? Am I missing something? Share the love, share the love, share the love. Okay, that's what it means. Anyway, I just watched this for you, but I'm excited. This is very creamy, very like juicy, shiny. I'm excited for it. The packaging's really bulky though. I don't think it, it needed all that. I'm also gonna give this Tarte Exposed Blush a chance. I picked this up because I've been into the green blushes, again, kind of a nostalgic product for me, um, and I thought, let's give it a shot, but every time I've worn it, I haven't loved it, and I just wanna get some like more solidified thoughts on it. I think I'm gonna let the Rowan ones kind of, you know, get a break for right now. I've been using those a ton lately, but I think, you know, I have a lot of cream. I should do a powder. I think for powder, I'm gonna do this one from Bare Minerals. And I think I'm also going to do maybe this one from Wet n Wild. I keep it around because I'm like, it's so pretty, but I never end up using it. And I just want to like see if it's worth keeping around, you know, like the powders look so pretty here, but like, why am I not actually putting it on my face? Let's see. Let's like figure that out. And then why not two more? <laughs> why not? I'm going to do the Laura Mercier again. Didn't love this, but I want to see if that's true. This Chantecaille one also. On to highlighter. All right. So this is my highlighter drawer. I have tons of stuff in here as well. It's 
just like jam packed. I always need my Pat McGrath. This is the Lunar Allure. I just, I love this. It's so shiny, so pretty, great for an inner corner. I haven't used the Kaleidos ones in a while, so I wanna do Mars Melter because it has that shine to it. I think it'd be kind of fun. So I'm gonna put Mars Melter in here from Kaleidos. I also kind of want to do Diamond Dasher because this has that sh that same kind of sparkle and I've been into that as well. So I think that might be pretty. This is another one that I got more recently and I want to give some shots. Another classic product. I ha always wanted this and I never got it from MAC. This is, what is it? Why can't I remember? Soft and gentle, you guys. Soft and gentle. What a classic. Definitely soft. <laughs> Definitely different, but I keep wanting to try this. I've been trying it, but I want to get more thoughts. I finally got the spotlight wand from uh, Charlotte Tilbury, so I definitely want to put that in. I do have the flower beauty one that's like supposed to be a dupe. Let's swatch it. I never got into this. Every time I used it, I didn't love it. So that's the flower beauty one, and that's the Charlotte Tilbury. There are, you can see the difference. The base on this one's just more. So I'm excited. I just, I don't know. I want to try them next to each other though. So I'm going to put that in too. Those will be my two creams. Oh no, I'm going to do three because I love this Rowan stick. I want this in there too. This is like, to me, the cream version of the Pat McGrath. I know this one comes off a little more gold, but something about them is very similar, like kind of unassuming. They look kind of frosty, but they look so good. So I'm going to put that in too. I don't know why I'm like wanting to do one more highlighter. I think I'm gonna do a classic, this Nabla one. I think I am. This one is so pretty. It's the ozone one. So I'm gonna put that in too. All right, last drawer on this side are my lip products and I definitely am gonna pick kind of a lot of these. I think I need to, this is where I need to declutter because I have so many of the ColourPop ones and they just take, take up a lot of space. But anyway, I definitely wanna put in the Linda Hallberg. Uh, this is the Infinity Gloss and it's in the shade Mellow Mauve. So pretty, such a beautiful color. I've really been liking glossy lips. So I think I'm gonna put this Lawless one in. I got this during one of the boxy sales, but it is like a thick, glossy thing. I feel like for a while I've been using the Patrick Ta one for a gloss, like a shimmer, but I think I'm gonna go with the Lawless. I'm gonna give this Dodie shade from uh, Rowan a good shot. I love these balms, so this is one of the new colors. And then I think I'll do this NYX gloss as well which is a little more brown. They're all very similar though. I think I'm gonna put this red lipstick. I think it's the sheer one, yeah, from Gucci in. I've been liking kind of a sheer lip, a red lip, so I'm gonna do that. I also loved that like bright orange red lip and I'm gonna get one more of those in, I think before like I kind of go into darker colors, but I'm gonna use this ink velvet from Peri Peri. I got it from Yes Style, so I'm gonna use that. It's very like bright orange. I guess I'll swatch. I've been trying to do that. So I love those colors. But maybe we'll do something kind of like transitioning as well. I don't know how much time I have left with this Too Faced one. I've had it for a while. This is in the shade Suck It. I know. That's just the name, but um, yeah, I'm gonna put that one in too. And then for more like tinted balm things, I'm gonna do the Charlotte Tilbury. This was like a free gift with purchase, so that's why I have it. This one's in the shade Romance Kiss. So I'm gonna put that in. It's kind of similar to the Gucci actually. And then this is the Tarte Maracuja Plumpy Lip thing, and it's in the shade Peachy Beige. So that seems pretty good. I'm also just gonna pick some random lip liners. I have many a many a lip liner in here, and I'm just gonna kind of randomly pick. I'm trying to like find a way to weed out. I'm gonna give this ABH one a chance. We'll see. Let's see. I'm gonna give this one a chance. I'm gonna give the Oma Beauty one a chance. Well, I know I like this one actually. This is one of my faves. And I'm gonna do this Essence one in Pearly Beige. They're so similar. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do all three of those. All right, I think that's it for lips. I guess I could do this Kaja one. I haven't used it yet. It's like one of the air, it's like a moussey one. Maybe I'll put that in too. They sent that and I haven't tried it. Maybe I should. All right, we're getting into the fun stuff. This is one of my favorite drawers. I rearranged this. So this is a lot of stuff. I have creams, single shadows, basically, different creams, more creams. These are kind of like tubular creams, which I have some of the Sydney Grace. I bought some stuff during their uh, Christmas in July sale, and I just haven't even showed you any of it. <laughs> I also have some of my stick cream shadows in here. I have my colorful liners, my more neutral liners, and then these are like liquid shadows, which 
which I'll just start off with this one. I bought another one of the REM Beauty ones from Ariana Grande because I love the Fembot one I have. And this color, I feel like it's too bright. This one is so pretty and it's like just as pretty but more neutral obviously than the other one. This one is in the shade UFO. So pretty. It has like a warm brown base with like a silvery shimmer on top. This is the Fembot one. I'll swatch it next to it. It is so pretty. If you haven't tried this like oh and you love like duochromes, super sparkly shifty stuff I think you'll really like it and they dry down and like kind of lock in place so I'm gonna put that in I know I'm gonna do my Sydney Grace ones these are some cream shadows in tubes I actually don't love the tube thing I thought for some reason these had little like wands in them I don't know why I thought that but let me swatch them this is stolen kiss I've actually worn that one it is beautiful so so pretty it's like a peachy golden pinky flip thing this one's called my bond and it has like that red base with a bit of that green blue kind of shimmer on top that one's really pretty pretty dark though these were all darker than I expected except for the stolen kiss this one's called starry night which also has that same kind it's more green than the other one I guess the other one looks more purple the top one is like that green red flip and then this one's more watery than the other ones I don't know why this one's called smoke and mirrors and it's a little bit more of that like mauve color I think it's more pigmented than that that's kind of a watery swatch but those are the Cindy Grace shadows cream shadows I picked up I mostly just stuck to the creams and then I got the California Coast palette that was kind of being like launched at the same time so I'll probably put that in my shop my stash anyway those are some swatches so pretty like ooh, I love cream shadows that's not it of course I have to do more I'm definitely gonna get some stick shadows so this one is from about face and look at that color this is the shade actual ambrosia I think is what it is it's very pretty I really like this there's like four that came out in this kind of taupey collection but they only had this one at Ulta at the time I was ordering but I saw the other ones at Ulta before that so I don't know I need to figure out where those all went I'm gonna put persuade in here from Sigma this is kind of my everyday one because it's just like close to my skin tone. It's very similar to Max Painterly. I got three of these, another one of those like sets from Charlotte Tilbury. These are the color chameleon sticks. I got the shade Black Diamond, which is like a sparkly black. I got Bronzed Garnet, which is a really pretty red bronze. And then this one's called Dark Pearl and it's more of a smoky kind of purpley those are those cream shadows. I think that's everything from those. I'm gonna put this persona liner in. This is in the shade plum. I think that would be really nice. I'm definitely putting my Charlotte Tilbury liner in. This is like a bronze one. And I think I'm gonna put this olive one in. Like all three of those are so pretty. I'm gonna do those three. I have some more cream stuff from Charlotte Tilbury. I picked up two of the new uh, creams. So this is the Sunlit Glow. Yeah, this is the duochrome one. It's very, very pretty. Very golden, but then has like a pink flip on it. I thought this was pretty bold for Charlotte Tilbury, honestly. And then the one I really wanted was Exaggerized because I love the quad so much. I wanted to see how this one was and it's interesting. I'm still getting my thoughts, but it's a lot more like of a camel brown than I expected. And then it has like a cool shimmer to it it's kind of odd it's kind of like yellow camely but then it has cool shimmer and it doesn't have the same charm to me as the quad but I'm still testing it okay I think one of the last creams because I just have so many here I'm gonna do this one from uh, Mac another newish one this one is so pretty it's one of the paint pots but it has this beautiful shimmer to it this one's in vintage selection oh my gosh so so pretty I think that's enough for creams and liquids my goodness all right we're now into the second drawer this houses a lot of my single pot shadows as well as my smaller eyeshadow palettes I feel like I have a lot in here again I think one of the freebies with the Charlotte Tilbury sale was an eyeshadow palette so this is the walk of no shame so I'm gonna put that in I'm also putting these Revlon little four pan quads in these are so pretty I've wanted these for forever finally bought them and I I am so happy I feel like these are that like a, a very luxury kind of subtle formula but from the drugstore I have tried these multiple times multiple different days and they're just beautiful not the most sparkle ever but I just feel like they look luxe so very happy with those I'm gonna put the eyes on me quad from Rowan in here I've had this one but it's like the newest one I kind of want to just like use it more get more thoughts and looks with it a lot of you guys told me this rose water eyeshadow quad from elf was good so I'm gonna do that one in here I haven't used it yet I'm excited 
muted. I've been loving these kind of like mauve rosy type tones, so I'm gonna put that in. And then I have this Kaja Benta box. I don't know what I wanna do with it, so I wanna give it a try. It's very summery. Like, I feel like the colors are perfect bronzy shades for summer. I'm getting it so dirty right now. And it's all shimmer. So I kind of want to see what I can make with that. I think that's everything from here because I have other palettes I'm definitely going to be reaching for. All right, this next set of drawers is also smaller palettes. I think I'm going to dive back into my custom palette out of these ones from ColourPop. I like rearranged this one and the other one, Twist of Slate and Set in Stone. This is what this one looks like, not nearly as cute. <laughs> I took my favorite shades from both and put them in here. So I think I'm going to put that in because it has some nice mattes as well for me to make other looks with. So I'm going to do that for my cream shadows and stuff like that. I'm also going to give this quad a chance and try this one out from ColourPop. This one's the Peace Love Libra quad. I think that's it for this one as well. I mean, we have like way more eyeshadows to go through still. All right, here we are in a bit of a bigger palette drawer. I have one more palette drawer after this as well. I'm definitely doing the She-Hulk palette, this new one from Urban Decay, um, and giving that a test. So that's going in. I feel like I've been gravitating to small palettes for such a long time now that I do want to add quite a few large ones in here. I think I'm gonna put the Green Martini palette in here from um, Glam Light. This has some really pretty greens and I put that green liner in, so I thought it might be kind of fun. Like those are pretty and you know, it's a little bit maybe colorful, but I think just as single shadows, there's a lot of fun things that could be done in here. So I like that. Maybe with the She-Hulk palette, since that's also kind of green. I think I'm also gonna put the Of Quartz palette in here from ColourPop and get some nice neutral looks out of that. Okay, I think that's everything for this one maybe all right this is my last drawer i'm definitely putting the nearly neutral palette in this i am gonna try to get a review up very soon like very very soon <laughs> i need to do it okay i just i filmed it like three times and every time there was like an issue so i think i'm just kind of like burnt out from filming reviews on that that no one sees ever <laughs> what else is going on in here i kind of want to do either the impressionism palette from kyla oh wait this is the art nouveau <laughs> this is the impressionism i don't know i kind of want to put one of these in maybe this one I don't know which one I want to do that one's so pretty I'm gonna try Art Nouveau it's a lot of color but maybe I can like add it into other stuff I think I'm gonna do the Hella palette from Angelica and Odin's Eye I was using this a little bit last week and I think I want to bust that out again oh wow look at this palette this is like a customy one of the love palette from Natasha Denona I don't even know what these look like right now let's see this is what my pastel one looks like like this is what's so fun I really want to do this stuff with the ColourPop big palettes. It's on my list. This is actually the bronze. This is what my Zendo looks like right now. Very like blue. I might do this one and put this one in. Oh my gosh, look at this one. <laughs> this is, what is this one? The Sunset, uh, but it's obviously way different. It looks like almost a version of the ColourPop Limoncello. I don't know if I want this one. Maybe I'll do both. I feel like they're very similar to each other but maybe I'll do both of those. What's my Metropolis look like? Oh yeah, I made it my like forest garden palette. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll, I'll leave them linked down below, but I think I'm gonna put these two in and I'm gonna put the big palettes from ColourPop in here. I'm excited to do some fun stuff with that. Hopefully I can make that video too. I've been doing my best guys. I've been having issue after issue. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I realize this is kind of like a new shadow type thing, so maybe I'll pull some stuff from this. This was the Luxy like cocktail collection. I, I bought this myself. So I think I'm gonna put that in so I can get some use out of it. I wanted to show it. Maybe I'll make a little short like swatching it all out and stuff. I don't know how available these are because they always sell out so fast and I don't know, they don't always get brought back and stuff, but yeah, there were nine shadows. I picked those up. This is that Sydney Grace palette, the California Coast one. This is the light version, but with the sale, I think this came free with a certain amount purchased. So that was kind of, why I got that one, really pretty. And then I thought I would just mention, I have the Sorcerer palette. This is from Fantasy Cosmetica. Um, I do have a code, it's not monetized, but if you are interested, I'll have that down below. But yeah, that's like the new Sorcerer palette. And then this is the other one I have from them. They're both sent to me, but this is the Druid. <laughs> I cannot show it. 
the Druid one, So Fall. Oh my gosh, like that gets me so excited for fall. So I'm gonna put, I think both of these in. It's a lot, I am I have a lot going on this time, you guys. All right, so everything's out here. I need to put it in my drawers still. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. It's kind of a, a shop my stash, but also kind of like what's new in my collection because a lot of it is newer stuff that I'm like wanting to try and use and get my thoughts on. You'll probably see more videos with coming soon. But now I play Tetris and try to fit it in my drawers. I gotta go get them out of my bathroom. I should have cleared a spot first. What was I thinking? Ridiculous. Right, here we go. These drawers are from Sephora originally. I don't think they sell them anymore, so I don't know where you can get something similar, but I really do love them as these kind of like smaller drawers for me to use and like easy reach stuff and then do these kind of shop my stashes to like change that makeup out, you know? But now I'm gonna try to fit it all in there. Let's see if this works. Oh my gosh, I got almost everything to fit except for the big palettes. So all the ColourPop ones I obviously knew weren't gonna fit. And then I'm just gonna stack the two square ones on top. So those didn't fit, but everything else I thought I would show you what's in the drawers and kind of how I organize it. It's kind of the same as every time, but I don't know, it might be helpful for you. This is my face drawer. So primers, foundations, concealers, powders. I tend to not have too much of that. So this bigger but still small drawer does really well for me. In the other drawer that same size, these are all of my smaller palettes. I was really excited to fit the single shadows in here from Luxie, but it's all of my smaller palettes that fit in here. Then for small thin drawers, these are all my lip products. They fit in here so nicely. I really love this one for lips. I decided to put some of the like creams that are in tubes, tubular creams, <laughs> cheek products, highlighters, that type of stuff in here just to not have it in the base, but they would have fit in here, which is where all the other cheek products I have are. Let's say I had more single shadows or something, I could always switch that out. Then this is all of my like eye products, including my cream shadow sticks, but these are more like workhorse, so like mascara, brows, liners, primers, that type of stuff. And then my last ones, I have like single shadows. So this has some of the cream ones, but also some of the potted. I have my Kaja one. Not single, but it kind of fits in that same category. Like I already mentioned, these are all of my blush and bronzers and highlighters. I really like having one of these big drawers for them because I tend to have a lot of cheek products lately that I'm excited for, trying out, testing out, that type of stuff, and just using. Like, I just love switching it up, so I have one of these big ones dedicated. And then in the last drawer, I have the bigger palettes, whatever can fit in here, and I was so happy. Like, I have nine bigger palettes that fit in here, which is so nice nice it keeps them like safer you know and kind of you know all contained which is great so yeah I'm really happy with how everything came out I'm not actually gonna be doing a look today I hope you guys don't mind but I really want to just get a video out for you today instead of not I feel like I'm struggling to like get videos out right now even though I want to you know, I just, yeah, it's same story. I feel like I don't even want to talk about it, but um, I want to get this out for you. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm excited to be using these things for the next couple of weeks. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, maybe gave you some inspiration to organize or pick out some products that you haven't tried in a while or you want to get some thoughts on or some old faves, whatever it is. I hope it could be relaxing or whatever, whatever you use my videos for. I hope it was fun. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I I appreciate you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.